Chrome OS 96 had a bit of a rocky start. It rolled out and then it got pulled and then there were Android app issues and all this kind of stuff. But all that's been fixed. 96 is out there for the vast majority of people who have Chromebooks that are still getting regular updates. And just like there always are, there are some features hiding right there beneath the surface that if you know how to turn them on, can really enhance your overall experience. So we wanna talk about five of those hidden features in Chrome OS 96. First up, before we jump into any of these features, I'm just so excited to be able to finally make one of these videos again. It feels like the last few versions of Chrome OS really have been uh, all to get kind of to where we are right now so that with 97, we really start the four week update cycle in earnest. Um, and it just, I don't know, there haven't been a whole lot of cool new features yet. And honestly, we get kind of spoiled around here with having new features every time a new OS version drops. And so even though these aren't technically included, well, two of them actually of the five are included. You just got to know where to look to see them and use them. Uh, the other three are behind flags. They're, they're a one feature flag flip away from being part of your overall experience here in 96, and we're super excited to be able to make one of these videos. All right, so let's start off with two of the features that are actually included right in 96 with no feature flags necessary, and that's vertical snapping and then reordering. There's a shortcut for reordering your uh, virtual desktop. So we'll start with the vertical snapping. If you're not used to horizontal snapping, you need to start using it because it's really helpful, especially if, you're having, if you have one screen and you need to be doing a couple things, you can grab Grab a window and either long press up here on the expand icon and slide to the left or to the right and pop that window into place or you can drag a window it doesn't matter what size it is drag it to the left you'll see it kind of highlight here let it go and it'll snap into place that way you can have two things left and right right next to each other and then you can also overlap them this will appear and it'll drag both windows at the same time super handy super productive not so great though for devices that might be in this kind of orientation so if you have a secondary monitor or you have i don't know a tablet in kind of a, a horizontal orientation you don't really want to split the screen this way it doesn't really make much sense so google has added horizontal snapping and so once you orient the screen this way and Chrome OS realizes, I've tried this on external monitors too, it realizes, hey, the screen is, is taller than it is wide, so now we need to change the snapping orientation. You immediately see that over here, I'm gonna drag this window up so that it kind of just resizes and is not obviously half of the screen here anymore. Uh, we'll drag it down this way. Okay, so now when I hover over this, I get up and down arrows, so it'll snap it halfway down to the bottom of the screen, or I can just drag, let go, and it will snap halfway to the screen. This is a much more useful version of snapping half the screen than cutting a big tall screen in half with very narrow sides. The second feature that's already included, uh, I, we're not sure when this showed up, but I think 96 is what brought it, is the inclusion of the sh keyboard shortcut for virtual desks that allows you, you can already reorder them by dragging your mouse, so you can move them back and forth. I'll make a new desk here just so we have an extra one. Uh, well, yeah, desk three is fine. Um, and so you can already do this but there hasn't been a keyboard shortcut for it yet. So if I start hitting the arrow keys, I start highlighting these things. Once I got one highlighted, if I wanna move it, hold the control key and push the arrow right or left, and you can move those things around to your heart's content. It's very nice because for users like myself, I like using the keyboard shortcuts to move between desks. So that's just the everything key in the right and left bracket. These things are really helpful. And when you get used to using your fingers and the keyboard to basically navigate all these virtual desks, the more keyboard shortcuts we have, the better it makes you more productive. It makes things quicker. Okay, so let's get into the other three, which are all feature flags. So I'm gonna hop over here to where I've got the flags open. I've already got these turned on, but if you're not familiar with this, Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags is gonna get you to that. So just type that in, you'll get to this page and you can use the search up here to search for these different flags. So uh, the first one is dark light mode. I'm gonna expand this so we can see it a little bit easier. So your dark light mode, uh, that's gonna work with the web UI dark mode. You don't have to turn the web UI one on, uh, but it will make some of your set settings and system menus and all that kind of stuff follow the theme, whether you're light or dark mode. As you can tell, I'm in a light mode here. Um, and so like all my notifications and all that kind of stuff, this is all kind of a light theme versus the normal Chrome OS dark theme. And so you have the ability now to switch between those, which is really cool. Um, and like I said, the web UI dark mode, 
it just makes certain things follow. So I'm gonna flip dark theme back on here and you can see this piece of content because this is technically a setting in Chrome OS now shows up in dark mode. So if I go to my settings, I also get a dark mode. This will go back to light mode if I turn that back on. So uh, it all works really well. Um, flip this flag on and boom, you got dark and light mode if you would like it. For the record, this one here, disable virtual keyboard. This is not necessary for anything we're talking about today. It's just this particular device tends to like to pull the virtual keyboard up sometimes because the Bluetooth keyboard uh, won't be recognized for a second or it'll go to sleep real quick. Uh, I just didn't want it popping up during uh, during this video. So that, that is not necessary. Uh, so web UI dark mode goes with the dark mode thing. But then we've got the productivity experiment app launcher. And Michael has been writing about this a ton. He's, he's uncovered all sorts of things, app sorting, sorting by colors, all sorts of things like categorization. None of that stuff's live yet. I tried all those things. None of those work yet. But here in 96, if you'd like to get rid of the full screen launcher that normally comes up that just takes up a bunch of room and frankly makes no sense on the desktop, turn on this flag. And when you hit your everything key on your keyboard or if you hit the one here on the desktop, you now have a launcher that looks like this. They honestly never should have taken this style of launcher away from Chrome OS. I think this makes so much sense on desktop. When you go to, you know, tablet mode, it'll go back to full screen like it should. It makes more sense there. Uh, but here, this makes way more sense on your desktop. It works like it always would. You can drag and drop stuff around. You can make folders out of things if you want. You can name those folders. All that kind of stuff's all there. And they are working on the ability to right click and reorder your apps by uh, alpha, alphabetizing them by color, by category, all this kind of stuff. So more stuff will be coming to this, but the basic thing is here. Now it works. You have all your searchability up here. So if I'm searching for an app, for instance, so I'm just gonna type play, you get your apps, you get your searches, all the stuff that you always got before. It's just condensed. It's over here. It's clean. It makes way more sense. I really, really like this change. And I'm good. I'll be glad whenever this becomes the default, there is no flag for this. This makes so much more sense on desktop. And finally, we have side search. So this is like this sidebar search engine. We've talked about it a little bit. Uh, shout out to Kevin over at About Chromebooks. He found that it was uh, working in Chrome OS 96. And so I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Let me hop back over here and we'll go full screen with this. And the only way, once you have the flag turned on, you don't see anything different until you run a Google search. So I'm gonna search for Chrome Unboxed. When I run that search and I click on something, the minute I click on it, you'll now see a G up here in the top bar. And once you see that, if you click that G, boom, in comes your side search. And it's this little like widget search thing. You can't resize it, but it's like the size of a phone basically interface over here, which is really nice. I mean, you can go through your news. I'd like to see Google just make that G up there all the time. like. Let it just be there and I can have it when I need it. And when I don't, I can just click it and, and undo it. Uh, but for right now, like if I open a new tab, it goes away until I perform a search in google.com. I don't know if that's gonna be the behavior. I think the point here is, hey, I searched for Chrome Unboxed, I clicked something, but I can keep that search going now. And so now I'm like, oh, there's this here. So I click that, it goes and opens up that. And, oh, let's see, oh, look at this, there's this. Oh, wait, there's that one here too. And then by just holding control on my keyboard and clicking these links, I can start opening up some more of these things that are all results from the same search that I had. And so I can see this being super, super helpful when you're trying to search for something specific, some specific topic, and you're really running a search and trying to look at multiple sources. This is a great aid that you always have this here without having to hop back and forth between two different tabs. I really, really like this. Again, I just hope that Google puts an icon up there, gives you an option uh, to basically pin this thing up here. I'd love for this to stay. I think this is a really, really cool feature. But guys, that's about it. Those are five really, really cool cool features that are in 96 right now and a you either didn't know it or you just didn't have them turned on yet and so with a flip of those flags a restart of your chromebook you can have all this stuff right at your disposal and start kind of getting to test out some of these quote unquote unreleased new features before they become part of the general stable build of Chrome OS. But that's it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up, head down there, hit that subscribe button and be sure and ring the notification icon as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.